occur to leave us to, for we have closely sent for Hamlet hither, that he may, as it were, by accident, hear of Proctophilia. Meanwhile, her father and myself will so bestow ourselves that, seeing unseen, we may at their encounter frankly judge whether it be the affliction of his love or no that the, thus he suffers for. I will obey you. And for your part, Ophelia, I do hope it is your good beauties that be the happy cause of Hamlet's wildness. And so may your virtues bring him to his wonted way again. For both your honors. Ophelia, up walk you here, read on this. Uh, my lord, I, I, I hear him coming, pray, pray for stones. Stand fair. Your honesty should admit no discourse to your beauty. My lord, could honesty have no better commerce than with beauty? Oh, I truly, for the power of beauty, will sooner transform honesty from what it is to a board than the power of honesty can translate beauty into his likeness. This was sometimes a paradox, but now the time gives it proof. I did love you once. <coughs> and you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. I loved you not. <laughs> I was the more deceived. Get thee to a nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I myself am indifferent honest, but yet I could accuse me of such things. It were better my mother had not borne me. I'm very proud, ambitious, revengeful, with more offenses at my back. I have thoughts to put them in, imagination to give them shape, or even time to act them in. What should such fellows as I do, crawling between earth and heaven? We are errant knaves all. Oh. Believe none of us. For thy ways to a nunnery. Where's your father? At home, my lord. Uh, well, let the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Farewell. Oh, and if thou dost marry, I'll give thee this plague for a dowry. Be thou as chaste as ice, as pure as snow, thou shalt not escape calumny. Get thee to a nunnery, go, farewell. <laughs> oh, oh, and if thou would needs marry, marry a fool, for wise men know well enough what monsters you make of them. To a nunnery, go, and quickly, too. Farewell. Oh, heavenly powers, please restore him. Oh, I have heard of your paintings too. God hath given you one face, and you make yourselves another. You lift, you amble, and you jig. You nickname God's creatures, and you make your wantonness your weakness. Oh, go to! It has made me mad. I say we will have no more marriages. Those that have 
married already. All but one shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. Oh, what a noble mind is hero thrown. And I of late is most abject and wretched of suck the honey of his sweet music found. And now, look at the noble sovereign reason. What blown ecstasy of youth. Oh, woe is me to see what I have seen. To see what I see. <laughs> Love, his affections do not that way tend. Nor when he spake. Though it did lack some form. It was not like madness. There is something in his soul over which his melancholy sits on broom. If you see fit, pray his mother, the queen, entreat him to reveal his grief. Pray she be round with him. It shall be so. Madness in great ones shall not unwatch it go. Shocks that flesh is there too. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, but chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil? Give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Who, who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. The proud man's contumely. The pangs of disprized love. The laws delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patience merits and of the unworthy takes. When he himself might his quietus make. There, but. <laughs> Who would these fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveler returns. Ah, it puzzles the world and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. And thus, conscience makes cowards of us all. And thus, the native view of a resolution is sickly over by the pain, cast of thought, and enterprises of great pitch and moment with this regard. The currents turn awry. On 
please, the name of action. It's soft. Soft, you know. Stay happy.